Hi everyone, I'm Lalabad. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making a steak dinner. We'll be having ribeye. We'll also be having scallop potatoes and we'll be opening up some of these. I'm so excited, I love these. I don't know why I'm more excited about this than I am about <laughs> this, but I am. All right, so uh, first thing we gotta do is salt and pepper the meat. That's what we're gonna do, okay? Now, yes, I said salt and pepper. There are, there are a few rules that I know about steak, and this is how I make my steak. First of all, I'm going to use the pan fry method, and then I'm going to throw it in the broiler at the end. Also, what I know about steak is that you should always have it at room temperature, and you should also have it um, seasoned. And I'm just gonna mix uh, the seasoning in here first, and then I'll sprinkle it on top. And I'm basically just gonna get some salt. This is pink Himalayan salt. You can use any salt you, you like. I'm gonna get some pepper. And I like a lot of pepper. So I'm getting a lot of pepper. And chili powder. That's the only thing I season it with. Y'all know that I love seasoning. Um, but for steak, I really just like to taste the meat. This is just a tiny bit. This kind of just brings out everything. All right, so wash the meat first. Um, this has been sitting at room temperature. I'm okay with that. This is how I always make my steaks, and we're still here, so. And uh, I'm really nice with the seasoning. For I like them thinner than this, but this is good. This is fine, this is fine. All right, we're gonna let these sit for a bit. And then we're going to prepare the potatoes for scallop potatoes. You should grease up a dish. So, 400, the oven 400, grease the pan. I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I guess this would be like a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. And I'm gonna slice them thinly. And I'm keeping the skin on because why not, right? Um, I actually think this might be enough for us. It, it, we are just two people. <laughs> hey, um, onions. We're gonna need onions. You're also gonna need garlic. And I do have whole garlic, but you know what? I wanna get this dinner done with, so I'm gonna use a jar of garlic. All right. Let's move on to the rest of the recipe. In this pot here, I have some water. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon because I don't own any chicken stock. I feel like uh, I don't use it. And it's expensive, let's be real, it's expensive. So I'm going to use some powder. I have like, I don't know, maybe two cups of water. I'll just use like two spoonfuls of the chicken base. And uh, that's my chicken stock. We're gonna saute some onions and garlic in this pan. This is where we're gonna be making the sauce. I'm gonna use three tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna add the onions. I'm gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna add a tablespoon. We're gonna make a whole meal here. I'm so excited to share with you the whole meal. <laughs> I got some skin in here, y'all. I always cut up onion skin. All right, cook that up a bit. And let's talk about seasonings. Now the recipe said thyme, okay, but what else? That's it, bro, thyme? What about something else? What about flavor? I wonder if we should put bacon in here. You want to try bacon? That's not in the recipe, but fuck the recipe. 
Let's go with some bacon, baby. I got some great value hickory. This is this right here. Hickory smoked bacon. Put that in there. Y'all know I couldn't go by the recipe. Sometimes a bitch just can't go by the recipe. I hope the burn I hope the onions don't burn. That's what I hope. It's my wish. I think if we just keep it low, not not too high, it shouldn't burn, right? I hope we didn't I hope we didn't mess this up. I really hope we didn't. Well we got more onions, we got more garlic, we got more bacon, it's okay. Calm down, Lala. It's not that serious. Alright, so I took off the boiling water. The stock is ready. And I put this pan on. I'm going to start the beans in this. Um, it's on a very it's on very low, very low. To add onions or not to add onions, that is the question. Um I might add a little onion. Those, those beans have so much flavor. I even hesitate to add the onion. But I'm going to because, you know, we have the onion, the, the scallop potato, so why not? <laughs> so I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter in this pan here. And then I'm going to cook the onions. And then I'm going to add the beans. And they're going to cook on like a three or four. Meanwhile, look back down here. Get your focus back down on here. This is what's going on with the uh, bacon, onions, and garlic. This is going to be the sauce for the scalloped potatoes. This already just this right here with potatoes would be good for like hash browns, but we're gonna take it to a level, another level. We're gonna make a roux out of this pretty soon. So if you know how to make a roux, then you know a fat with flour, basically a fat with flour. That sounds like me with a corsage, a fat with flour. <laughs> so stupid, I know I'm dumb. Okay, um, let me get. Now we put three tablespoons of butter, but but then we added the bacon, which added more fat. So I'm just going to put like maybe four tablespoons. That's going to be a thick sauce. I hope I have enough stock to thin it out. This is going to be so good. I haven't cooked in a minute. I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all haven't been seeing videos because I haven't been cooking. I have been like... I don't know. Sometimes I get in the mood where I want to make these big extravagant meals. And then sometimes I'm just like, let's pick up Subway. Let's pick up a pizza. I'm just not feeling the whole cooking thing. Um, and I'm so fortunate enough to have a husband that lets me do that. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't get pissed off or call me a fat lazy or anything. You know what I mean? He's super... He's like, okay, I get it. You don't feel good. Okay, that's fine. Let's let's pick up a pizza. Okay, I'm gonna add flour now to to this. We said four tablespoons, so here's one, two, three, four. You know, you want to let that that flour cook a little bit. I don't know. I might add. I, think, I feel like that's enough. That's going to be enough. That's going to be enough. I'm going to add a little bit more. I know. I know. It's not much, but I just. All right. Here we go. Let's add the stock. And it's going to tighten up because it's when it comes to boil. There you go. You see how tight that gets? So quickly. So continue to stir it. All right. Okay. And you, you know the thickness once it comes to a boil, how thick it is. So you either 
um, it's either going to be too thin or too thick. I think this is going to be perfect here. Now I'm going to add thyme. I should have added thyme. I was talking too much. There I go. But I got some thyme here. I'm going to add like that much, like a teaspoon. That has flavor, but is it enough for me? Let me go, let me go stir these onions over here okay we're cooking up I'm gonna cut them down to like a two and I'm gonna add the beans with and I'm gonna take out some of the juice but I, I will be leaving some juice in there um, the juice is super flavorful to be honest with you um, but I don't like it too wet so I'm using these beans here and I'm gonna take off some of that juice it's too much and then the rest, I'm going to put with the onions and butter. And then all I do, because you do not need to add anything, I promise you. No, nothing. All you need to add is pepper. So that is all that I add. And I like a lot of pepper, so... That's it. Nothing more. Okay. So those are going to sit there while we finish the dinner. So here's our sauce. Look, it tastes good. We're going to add a little bit something else if we ain't got enough bacon in it. I'm going to add this. I'm going to add half of this pack. It has that pork, that bacon flavor. That's, that's all I'm going to add because it's, you know, it has enough salt already. And then I was thinking about adding, do I have rosemary or maybe parsley? Ooh, parsley. Yeah, we'll add parsley. I'm going to go ahead and add onion powder, like, like a teaspoon. That's a little bit for me. <laughs> and I'm going to add some garlic powder and... We'll add some parsley. I'm gonna be using some Parmesan Parmesan cheese, and I'm gonna be using Monterey Jack cheese. Now I know this would be more bomb with sharp cheddar cheese, but that's what the Parmesan's for. If I don't have any sharp cheddar, I'm working with what I got, honey. Um, I wish I had some Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't. I wish I had sour cream. I don't. Parmesan is about this is actually I needed half a cup. This is a cup. All right, uh let's assemble the scalloped potatoes. Okay, so you got your greased pan, right? <laughs> I'm gonna put some sauce on the bottom. I guess this would be like enchiladas, maybe, I don't know. So you want the sauce on the bottom? Just a little bit. Like that much. Uh, do we get fancy or we just throw them in there? I don't know. We'll just throw them in there, right? And then we do sauce. And I don't know if we're supposed to season them right now. I don't know. Because I feel like this has like a lot of flavor, so. Who knows? I might have to. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think so. We'll see you at the end, I guess. <laughs> Okay, there's that. Well, this would have been so much better with cheddar. So much better with cheddar. Is that a saying? I don't know. That's 
what I feel like. I'm gonna put some of this Parmesan in it too. We're gonna have some kind of sharpness. We're gonna put this in the oven for, I don't know, I'm gonna say 40 minutes, right? I think 40 minutes will do. 40 minutes covered, and then we're gonna take it out, look at it, see if it's soft enough. If it is, we're gonna throw it in the broiler. Okay, I'm gonna check because this was like leaking in the oven. Mm. I'm gonna check it out, see what it looked like. Ooh. So it was like, I'm gonna put this in, let me check the potatoes. See if they're any kind of done. That is like super juicy. I'm taking the cover off and I'm gonna put this on a sheet pan. Okay, I got some room temperature butter. I'm gonna let this pan get hot. And I'm gonna get a little bit of oil just so the butter doesn't burn. You don't want the butter to burn. It pss, real quick, you know. A little bit of oil. That's what we want. Okay. And then, uh, throw them in the shape. Just like that. Now, this is a thin steak, so I'm going to leave it for about two minutes, two and a half minutes. And then two and a half minutes on the other side, and then we're going to pop it in the broiler. What I'm doing is I'm basting it. Alright, I'm going to... Turn it, keeping it at room temperature just, it adds flavor and I don't know how that happens but it really, really does. Alright, I'm going to put this in the a sheet pan and I'm going to start on the other one that I have here. Again, get some butter in there. I'm gonna let the temperature come back and then I'm going to add the steak. All right, so um, when the potatoes are done, I'm gonna put these in the broiler. I love the crust that the broiler gives the steak. So I'll be putting that in there for like three minutes. I'm gonna let these potatoes finish cooking. Yeah, so. All right, uh, okay, so it's still really runny. So the next time I will not put the top on and I won't put that much liquid. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, I'm using my hands. <laughs> Let's see. That is perfect. Yes, I told you. Tell me, I probably thought I, I had cooked it too long. Na na, honey. Na la la, bad. Cause I'm a bad. <laughs> I just talk a lot of shit, y'all. Okay. Now. Me and Raul will probably split this. So half for him. Like a lot more than me, of course. Because men's got to eat. I like the crunchy parts. So I'll put that for him. Don't worry, he likes it like this when I use my hands. Right, I'm gonna get the green beans. And there you go. We got, what is that again? Oh, ribeye steak, scallop. Soup, I mean scalloped potatoes 
<laughs> and uh, green beans. Oh, it looks so good. All right, here, baby. Are you a little No. Okay, you be on camera. Okay. Taste your steak. That well or not? Perfect. Okay. Take the potatoes. Be honest. Cause I'm gonna shoot you later. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. That parmesan made it really tangy. The beans. Taste the beans. Uh, nothing but that, but it's really good. The beans are so good. We already know. You like those beans? Really? Mm, my favorite.